Welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome to the start of a brand new era at FC Barcelona. Today we will be discussing the highly charged derby meeting between two city rivals which marks the very first steps of an exciting new adventure. Xavi is here. Xavi is home. And this right here is where the hard work it truly begins, because in today's video, we are going to be discussing exactly what changes we are likely to see in the early days here with Xavi as the Barcelona coach. We're also going to be talking about what our expectations should be heading into this clash. And most importantly, the intriguing question of exactly who is going to feature in Xavi's very first Barca lineup, as we're likely to see some real surprises as the Chavi rain gets underway. Because kickoff will be coming to us at 9 p.m. on Saturday, live from the Cat Now, in what is a really, really heated derby game. This is a match that we always want to win regardless, and even more so on Saturday evening. And I really do hope there the fans are out in force, in numbers, and in full voice, because we are going to need them here. We want to see this historic stadium come to life once again, because when you look at the league table, Chaffee is arriving here in a team who are in a desperate situation. We are 11 points off the top, 10 points behind Real Madrid, and we're actually level on points with Espanyol coming into this game. We need to move forward. We need to make strides back to where we belong. But what can we expect here from Xavi's team? And I do want to kick off right here with some intriguing words from Oscar Mingetha, who did an interview there on Thursday, where he really spoke from the heart and with honesty about some of the negative feelings towards the end of Ronald Koeman's time at the club. He said the dressing room needed change. He said the atmosphere that we needed simply didn't exist. People were not happy. And when you're not happy, things don't work out. You need change. And he admitted there in that interview that the squad had simply lost faith in Ronald Koeman as the Barca coach. And we could all see that from the outside. We could see a broken team, a completely lost, devoid of any confidence, disorientated players there out on the field. And I think simply from sacking Koeman alone, we started to relieve ourselves of a lot of that negative energy that was building inside the club. It was unsustainable. We were only getting worse. And now we can start to feel again like we're heading in the right direction. And I think even under Sergi Bahuan, you started to see some of those good feelings against Alaves, even despite drawing that game. You could see a more patient Barca. You could see a little change there in the foundations of the team. Against Dinamo Kiev in the Champions League, Barca managed to win such a crucial, crucial game. And we continued there to improve that momentum. And then against Celta, it was actually a game of two halves. Because yes, we all remember the second half in that game. But in the first First half, it was vintage Barca. The best half of football we'd seen all season. And you could just feel that, yes, there is potential there. The mood is improving. Barca do have quality players who can impact games. But as we saw in that second half against Celta, that capitulation, the all too familiar feeling of mentally collapsing in a second half of a game. And that is why those good feelings alone, that change in mood by itself, It'll only take you so far. These players need guidance too. They need coaching on where to be, how to behave, what their role is in this team. And that is why we needed this man right here. Xavi Hernandez. Because I think certainly under Xavi, those good feelings are going to continue. I think we're going to see them increase even more. The dressing room right now looks motivated. It looks excited about the future. It looks united. That's the most important thing. And at long, long last, you can feel as though everyone is working towards the same goal. But like I say, what we have been lacking is serious coaching. We have needed somebody to come in there with a clear plan, an organised system. We've been crying out with some discipline. And you only have to listen right now as to what the players are saying to see what Xavi has already started to bring. Again, you're looking there at Mingetha. He said, I'm sure that with Xavi we'll do very well. People believe in what he says. This is very important. We're training with greater intensity and now we have 
clear ideas. Then there's Nico Gonzalez, also yesterday in an interview with Mundo Deportivo. He said at the end of training, Xavi comes to you and he tells you what he wants. He helps you a lot, especially individually. And in midfield, he insists on many things and things that he believes that we should improve. And what you can see already, even just from the training, is that players are believing in their coach again. They're buying into his ideas. They're understanding what he wants. They're working harder than ever. But most importantly, they're working towards a clear plan, a clear system that Xavi wants to put in place. But this is a process. And that is one of the most important things that I'm going to say today, because this is a long-term project that needs patience. It needs time from everybody involved, from the coaching staff to the players, and especially from us fans. Chavi will need time to shape the team in the way that he wants. And that's why tomorrow, from a tactical viewpoint, I wouldn't expect miracles. I wouldn't expect complete and utter drastic changes. But I'm sure that what we will see is some progression. The football will look different from what we have been seeing. I'm sure in the build-up, I'm sure in the structure of the team, and certainly in the selection as we're going to come on to there are going to be changes but like we do have to keep saying Xavi needs that time but if there was one thing that I would say and that I would guarantee about what you're going to see tomorrow from a Xavi Hernandez team because whatever happens out there on Saturday whatever the outcome may be I can 100% guarantee you it's going to look a lot more a lot closer to our team like a proper Barcelona team, something that we can finally identify with. And that in itself is something we've lacked for so many years now. Xavi has brought it home and we're one foot back on the path to where we belong. And of course, as we start to think about the team selection, and this is so, so exciting there, looking at the first starting lineup that Xavi is going to be selecting. But of course, he does still have big injury problems, and none more so than in the forward areas. Ansu Fati, unavailable for this game. Same for Dembele Aguero and Braithwaite as well. Long-term absentees on the sidelines. And Xavi, of course, is limited in what he can do in that area. And that's not even going to be all. There are going to be more players that sit this game out because what I want to stress here is that there's not going to be any risks at all when it comes to players and particularly players coming back from injury. Gone other days there that players are going to be rushed back for one game and then they may play in that game but they're going to spend the next three, four, five weeks out with a relapse. Xavi is only going to select players here who are 100% ready and 100% fit which again is something that we should have been seeing before. But honestly, guys, when we are talking here about that starting lineup, it is unbelievable to me that we're this close to the game and still we don't really know what Xavi's going to do. It's very much going to be a surprise one hour before the game when we get those team sheets and we see exactly what the lineup is going to be. Because obviously, when you're thinking about Barca, when you're talking about vintage Barca, when you're thinking about Xavi, you're thinking 4-3-3. That's the setup. That's the system there that ideally Xavi would like to go with. But given the injury problems that we have, given the issues that we have certainly in that forward line, could we see a three at the back system from Xavi? I would say that is definitely an option coming into this game. He also used this kind of system out in Qatar there when he flooded the midfield, had runners there as well in central areas and used those wide players to really push up and stretch the pitch in the opponent's half. But Xavi was very quick to say that he often used this system when he wasn't being pressed, which he believes tomorrow Espanyol are going to do. So I think that when it comes down to it, we are probably still going to stick with 4-3-3, but that is still open. We're again, not 100% sure. We do believe that Stegen is going to start there in goal. No question about that. Xavi is said to have real confidence in Ter Stegen. At left back, it's probably going to be Jordi Alba. I don't say that 100% guaranteed because I could see, certainly in the games to come, Alejandro Balde getting opportunities under Xavi. At right back, I think it is going to be Oscar Mingueza, somebody there who's been lucky to train right throughout Xavi's time at the club. He's been able to show him exactly what he can do. And again, we're not exactly blessed with options right now in that area. And then you've got centre-back. I think 100% I could guarantee here that Eric Garcia is going to start in this game. Like I said in the previous videos, I really think that he's going to suit Xavi's style of play. I think Garcia is going to play. But I just have the feeling here that Gerard Piquet probably 
is not going to start in Chappie's first game. And I don't really think it's going to be Araujo or Longley either. I'm actually going to say here... Could it be Samuel and Titi? We know that, again, just like Mingetha, he spent the entire time with Xavi. We know that he's been the one who's really impressed Xavi. And could Um Titi be rewarded with what would be a massive start in Xavi's first game? Then you're looking at midfield, where we are blessed with so many fantastic options. Xavi believes that he can get the best out of Sergio Busquets. I see him starting there in the deeper midfield role. I think De Jong will come in, even though he got back quite late from international. He hasn't worked a lot with Xavi yet, but I think De Jong is going to be there. Then, Nico Gonzalez. He has to be in the team, because given the way that he played against Celta, he was fantastic in those games under Sergi Bajuan. I think he has to be in this team. But then, you've got massive questions. Then I think you've got the biggest questions of all when you're looking at those wide areas. We know that it's going to be Memphis. He is the only re really recognised forward that we have, and the one that Xavi is certainly going to line up with. But then out wide, Chavi needs wingers. He wants wingers in those areas. Now, apparently, it's not going to be Yusuf Demir. He is one of those players that would be an option. But Chavi apparently doesn't really like that he cuts inside. He wants somebody out there who's going to stay wide, who's going to stretch the pitch. Could we use Gavi in that area? It seems extremely harsh not to play him in this game. You know, such is the quality that this young man possesses. But I don't really feel as though he's at his best in a wide position. Could it be Abde? We saw him under Sergi Bar. One, somebody there with real pace, power in his running too. Could it be him who starts there out wide? Elias as well has been training with the first team a great deal under Xavi. Really, really likes the look of him. Exciting young player there. Obviously as well, Coutinho is an option, but you'd also look at him in the same way that Xavi does Demir, whereby he's always looking to cut in. He's not really going to be somebody who's going to hold that width. And I really don't know. Honestly, guys, I could not tell you right now who is going to start in those wider areas, but... Isn't that exciting? Isn't what makes all this incredibly exciting? Because we don't know. We don't know what Xavi is going to do next. And that's also important for the opposition. Because as a result of all that, they don't know either. They don't know what we're planning. And I just hope that what we're going to see on Saturday at the Camp Now is going to take the field by storm. It's going to surprise people. But boy... It is going to be exciting. And of course, guys, it does then come down to the big match predictions. You guys are in very, very confident mood. We know the Barca this season have been unbelievably unpredictable, but you are confident of not only a win, but a comfortable win too. Plenty of people there going for a win by two goals. Lots as well going for a win by three plus. And I maintain what I said. I think we have to take it easy. We've got to definitely give Xavi the time and patience that he needs to succeed. But he also needs knows that every game it's a big one. He himself will be the first to tell you that we can't draw. We can't lose. We've got to win. That's what he said earlier in the press comms. We discussed that over on More Talk FCB. Chavi understands the expectations at this club and I really hope that here we can kick off this brand new era in style and continue these fantastic feelings. Chavi has brought excitement, he's brought hope, and he has brought a sense of our identity back. And in the game to come, I am absolutely sure we are going to see all of those things in our performance. Please leave your predictions in the comments down below. What a game this promises to be, and what a time to be a Barcelona fan. Let me know down below what you are expecting. I will see you tomorrow. After all the action, after all the excitement has unfolded. Thank you indeed for all of your support and all of the optimism coming into this game. The build-up has been sensational. But now, the moment has arrived. The moment to strike. Let's do it. But until next time, as always, Vishka, El Buster. Oh.